What's going on, family? So there's a thing called a bulletproof vest. And I'm sure you've heard the term before, but it is a vest that is to stop bullets from being able to pierce your vital organs or even get close to the vital organs on your body. But there is a thing called an armor piercing bullet, one that can rip through the Kevlar vest that is there to protect you. So even in the midst of wearing protection, sometimes thing can still get through. But the truth of the matter is that when we're protected by the Lord, nothing can get through to us. In Psalm 91 verse 14, we can see how the Lord protects us, his people. It says, because he has his heart set on me, I will protect him because he knows my name. Because he has his heart set on me, me. I will protect him because he knows my name. Here, in the second half of verse 14, in this beautiful 91st Psalm, the Psalm of protection that God promises to protect, sustain, and keep his people, he makes what people call a conditional promise. The Bible lists out conditional and unconditional promises. Uh, unconditional promise is just something that God does no matter what. But here, there is a conditional promise. And the condition that leads forth to the promise is that our hearts must be set on him. If our hearts are set on the Lord, set in following his way, set in de determining to do what he tells us to do, then, then he makes this beautiful promise to us. He says that I will protect him. I will shield him. I will be his front guard, his rear guard, his guard on his left and his right top and his bottom. I will protect my chosen people. Brothers and sisters, we see so many examples of this through the scriptures. I just want to give you a couple today. The first one that came to mind is a man named Noah. Noah, who was told that the earth was going to flood before it ever even rained. God told him to build an ark, and he built it just as the Lord says. And the book of Hebrews says that he was a preacher of righteousness for those 120 years while he was building that ark. And as he built it, the rain started to come. Noah, his family, and two of the animals of all the animals went inside the ark, and the Lord shut the door. At that time, the whole earth filled with water, killing everything that had breath, within it, except for Noah and his family. The Lord protected Noah, allowing humankind to live on and allowing them to be delivered, saved, protected, and rescued. But what about another man? Another man, a man named Lot. Oh, Lot, we know he didn't live the best life. He was living in a place called Sodom, and Sodom was a pretty foul place to live. But even so, his uncle Abraham interceded for him. And after he interceded, angels sent forth to deliver and rescue Lot, pulling him out right before the fire and brimstone fell down on the earth. The Lord will protect his people. And guess what the best part about that truth is? If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you are one of his people. You can reach in and received this promise of protection. You can receive this promise, but it says, if your heart is set on him. So let's commit to setting our hearts on the Lord, setting our hearts by following his word, his will, and his way, setting our hearts on being obedient and loving others, setting our hearts on loving Jesus with all that we are. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this promise of protection. When we set our hearts on you, of course, but help us to remember and to trust that you are in control and that you can protect us no matter what the circumstances on the outside look like. Whether they be a flood or fire and brimstone, your protection rests upon us. Help us to know that, to lean on that, and trust that despite the circumstance. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to look at more promises at the end of Psalm 
and you won. God bless.